Where do I begin? Welcome back to my channel. Those who are new, welcome. My name is Chanta Peak. In this video, I give you guys my life update. Um, there's been many questions uh, and what's going on. Uh, for those who follow me on Instagram, it pretty much has been in the know of what's been happening. But yeah, it's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy last couple months. So let's dive into it. All right, Lowe's, as you can see from the title, it's a little bit dramatic. Yes. Um, Basically, if you guys haven't seen it, I titled this video, I almost died. Yeah, it's the truth. It's um, been kind of a world one for me. And the only way I would know how to really begin this story is to start from last year of 2021. So let's start. So basically, um, I was pregnant. And I was able to find out in late December of last year of December of 2021. And basically from the get go, I was completely tired of my entire pregnancy. It's been amazing how each pregnancy is different from my firstborn to my secondborn. And I was constantly, you know, sleeping, exhausted. I remember telling my assistant that, why am I so tired? Why am I always, you know, wanting to sleep, wanting to rest? I always feel really groggy because my firstborn, I was, you know, on it, painting like rooms and having a nesting period. I was just full of energy um, the entire time. And, uh, you know, for every, for everything that was been going on, I, you know, feel very blessed, um, to be even being pregnant. So there's no, you know, um, complaining there. I know there's many people who, um, uh, even at my age, um, I just turned 39, um, have difficulty, um, you know, conceiving and having a baby. So there's no doubt in me complaining of not having a child at all, but my journey of working full time, having a toddler, figuring out this, you know, um, underlining condition, that's been causing me to not be myself. And on top of that, not being able to vlog, not being able to, you know, make videos for you guys and do the things that I love and sharing the best that I can, right? Um, in my content, um, on Instagram and social media platforms, but it was just the hardest time. It was for me, um, also a dark time too, because ending in 2021, I applied for so many jobs, um, director level, executive level, and didn't get it. And it was just heartbreaking because I was working really hard. I see many people that were getting the jobs that I knew I was better than or more qualified than, but I just knew that I had to look past that and focus on my pregnancy and being healthy. So going into finding out in late December and going to January, you know, news happened to where my long-term mentor passed away. That was one of the most devastating, um, thing for me. Uh, just overall, he was like a father to me. He was someone that I would be able to run to and talk to when it comes to personal and work. And that in itself was hard for me to cope with. And then my, you know, current boss had a heart attack and that was stressful um, just because of a lot of things that I had to take on while being pregnant while mourning my mentor and then you know fast forward into going to summer it was just a lot of things just happening trying to balance it all just trying to be the best mom I could be with my toddler and being being who I am being genuine and I knew that I had to take a step back from my YouTube channel I had to take a step back on what's going on in my life and just really start focusing on my health and my happiness. Um, out of nowhere, fast forward to the end of summer, let's say August, um, getting ready for the baby. Uh, the baby's due in September. And so it was a month away and I was basically preparing, getting his room ready and so forth. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of, I think, the morning, around 10 a.m., 
I just got off a phone call with one of my employees and after feeding the dog, I looked down and basically I was bleeding. Just letting you guys know now, just going to pause there, you know, many details after this, um, part of the video would be graphic and may trigger some things for some people. So just want to be forewarning now, um, if you're not, you know, too, you know, comfortable with blood and just hearing these kind of things, I just recommend you guys, you know, fast forward to the very end when I state that I'm grateful and, uh, you know, ending out the video itself. Going back to the story, it was unbelievable. Um, I don't know why, but I was the most calmest person ever, I think, um, in the first situation for that being what it was. Because everyone that, you know, who's been pregnant or read about it, having heavy bleeding during your pregnancy is not good. So, you know, I was, you know, rushed by my husband to the hospital, um, to be seen. Unfortunately, the, there was no ambulance on its way. The firefighters came and it was just an unbelievable like situation. Um, I ended up being in the hospital bedridden close to three weeks. And, you know, the day right before, um, I was induced, the doctor said, we have to wait. We have to make sure everything looks good. I said, that's fine. I ended up having this feeling of, you know, I don't know what it is, but there's always something that's going to happen. Right. And, but I kept calm. I kept, you know, my prayers, thinking about my mom and just thinking about everything else in my life and, um, how grateful I am. So the day before, um, got everything ready. And the day of, I was rolled into my labor room, the labor, the delivery room itself. And, um, my husband went and had and got, went to go get some broth for me because I couldn't eat anything all day being under, um, the medication and to being induced with the baby. And I kid you not. Um, I had a feeling that something was going wrong and I don't know what it was, but I was prepared for it. And I looked down and I just started feeling a gush of water and wetness that was, you know, below my waistline coming out of my vagina. And I realized I'm bleeding again. And then I ended up looking left and right and there was no hospital phone. I ended up realizing that there was like no service, um, that I, that I was able to contact my husband. And then finally I pulled on the baby monitor off my stomach, the cords that was tracking the baby and to figure out, okay, if I do this, the nurse is going to come in. And for some reason, um, I don't know where I got the idea. I pulled the cord and the nurse ran in. I told her, I think I'm bleeding to death. And she says, Oh my gosh, let me get your nurse. My nurse came in and she said, okay, let's take a look. And they, by that time, my entire bed was red and she looked and she said, Oh my goodness, we need to go now. Um, they pressed the button for the hospital. They called for all, all hands on deck emergency C-section. And I kid you not from my room to the emergency room, I called my husband to come back. And within two minutes I was on the operating room. I was told by a gentleman, um, that within three seconds I would be under and next, you know, it, I woke up. I survived three hours later and all I could think about was right before I was put under maybe it's something weird but I saw a bright light 
shine over me and it could be the operating room light it could be something but it just felt warm and I remember telling myself at the time that I surrender that whatever happens happens and all I could think about was my mom my family and God and then a soft whisper came over me. It said to me, it's not time yet. And it's crazy because after talking to my doctor, when I woke up, I was with my husband. My son and I had what was called placenta urethra. And it's when your placenta ends up growing into your uterine wall. And my doctor said that when he came in to open me up for the C-section, at that time, they were worried because I already lost half my blood. And when they were able to go in to pull my, to operate and cut open my uterus so that they can retrieve my son. They said that they already saw his umbilical cord floating in my stomach and that my uterus ripped in half and that the pain I was going through all night and morning was from the fact that I was being ripped apart and the chances of me surviving and my son surviving was 7%. And in this situation, this only happens 3% of the time in the world. So I was very grateful. I'm still grateful today to be here. And just knowing that I'm giving another chance to be here with you guys, be here with my family. You know, there's a lot of things I'm thinking about with this channel that I've been wanting to change up a little bit just because there's a lot going on um, in my life and with my new baby and just being a heart, you know, hardworking mom and devoted wife. I wanted to focus on just changing it to where I'm focused on providing service and delivering, you know, to you guys and being able to not so much focus on the materialistic things that we have that I have um, because at the end of the day, you know, I want to live and be happy. And as much as I love the things that I have and it's just not part of my happiness. And so it's, 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 it's going to be a little different going forward. I'll still have reviews of bags that I like that I'm going to keep around, but I've decided to tone it down a bit and to sell my stuff and to basically focus on continuing to grow a family because after I was surviving, my doctor said that because of the whole situation, I had um, lost my uterus and he had to perform an emergency hysterectomy. So that was rough. I'm, I still have my ovaries. I'm really pre blessed and proud to be able to know that I have that opportunity and my to me to be alive. And so, you know, my focus is to continue to be with my family and grow my family and hopefully being able to uh, have a surrogate. So just a lot of stuff happening, right? But I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to give you guys my life update and just know that um, I'm still going to be around. I'm still going to be doing videos and talking about, you know, living your best life and having to celebrate who you are and self-love self and self-care and having the best things in life. That's still going to be a part of what I'm about. But I, for me, but I believe that, you know, with what I was going through and everything in my life, that 
I just need to start deciding on what really makes me happy. So yeah, that's my life update. You'll be seeing, of course, bag reviews and different beauty stuff and giveaways and things of that sort as I continue to do that for my, my YouTube channel. But I've decided to do um, more vlogs, more storytelling, and really focus on helping you guys, you know, living your best life, giving tips on career, health, and just so forth. But yeah, I'm here and I'm happy to be here. So I hope you guys can continue to follow me and on my journey as I figure this channel out. But overall, I just want to say I love you guys and I appreciate your support. All right. I'll see you guys later. Love you.